Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you're new here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. And today's video is just kind of gonna be like a couple days in my life. I have a lot going on right now. Um, I obviously haven't posted a YouTube video in a really long time. So um, I can kind of get into detail about why later because a lot of things have changed, um, including an engagement and some awesome things with work over the past year. It's a good Monday morning with my current job position at Orange Theory. Uh, since I make my own office hours, my classes aren't until tonight is I kind of have like a free day um, unless I have some stuff to do, which I don't really have too terribly much to do today um, at work besides my classes. So um, today I really is the only day I get to sleep in since I work six days a week. So today I was able to sleep in. I woke up at like 9.30 ish. Yesterday I was able to kind of clean up my house a little bit because yesterday was Sunday uh, but there were some stuff that I didn't end up finishing up. I have to do some laundry today. I definitely want to go to the gym today and yeah so I'm just going to kind of take you through a day and then we'll kind of talk a little story time later about my engagement um, and all that fun stuff. So again, make sure you subscribe, click the bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. And if there's anything that you guys ever want to see, make sure you comment it down below. I would love to make some requested videos. And we'll talk in a little. Want to come in? Come on, little girls. Come on, one and two. Good. Hello. Good morning. Say hi. Say good morning. Do you want to sit? You're so good. Can I have a ball too? Oh, good girl. You're so cute. Come on. It's literally so pretty outside. It's actually starting to kind of look like fall a little bit. And we love it. Yep. Um, but anyway, this is kind of the house right now. It's a little bit of a mess. So uh, let me turn the lights on here so you guys can actually see what the heck is going on. A um, little bit of a mess. I got kind of blankets everywhere. I just kind of left the vacuum here last night. I need to definitely clean that up. And I just kind of like fluff my pillows. I purchased this couch. This couch is literally the worst couch ever. Like, well, also partly it's because of Callie, my little dog. She always wants to sit like that. So every single time she sits like that, the cushions just like sink in and then you literally can't see anything. literally love coffee and uh, whatever this is me just going on a tangent but my point of the story is I just want to wake up and drink coffee is there anyone else like me like I just want to wake up and I'm like oh let me drink my pumpkin my pumpkin coffee I'm like Emily you need to drink your water so 
I'm trying to improve on that. Drink a little bit more water before I do my coffee. Look at this cute little mug. I got this from Target. If you're wondering, I'm assuming most Targets probably have them right now. Um, but I just got this and it was only like $3, like in their little like dollar section that they have at Target. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the supplements that I typically put in my coffee. So creatine monohydrate. If you are like really into like lifting or anything like that, this is a really, really good supplement. Um to use this just basically helps like muscle recovery um and essentially kind of gets the nutrients to your muscles a little better if that makes sense and that's kind of the easiest way to explain it so this is something that's really really helped me on my fitness journey and building a lot of muscle and strength i put this in my coffee every morning i always put my l-glutamine in there which this is a newer supplement that i just started trying i don't know that i've noticed many benefits from it just yet but with supplements it always comes down to the point where you have to be using them for a decent amount of time to see any changes. So I've only been using this for a couple weeks and like yesterday was Sunday, I kind of forgot to take my supplements. Like I try to be as consistent as I can, but there are some, you know, weekend days where I do forget. Um, Cause you know, maybe I'm getting a coffee out or something like that. Um, and these can go in other drinks. I just prefer to put them in my coffee cause I think that they dissolve better in here and then you can't taste it cause coffee is just so strong. Um, cause I put quite a few supplements in. So the creatine, this is the L-glutamine. This is supposed to be really good for muscle recovery as well. And it's supposed to help like bloating and help your digestive system from what I've researched so I've just started um, putting this in and this hopefully I will see some benefits from it and then lastly I put in my collagen peptides um, most of you probably know what collagen peptides are these are really good for your hair your skin your nails and your joints and so it all supports that um, it's just one scoop you just want to make sure that when you purchase something like this that the ingredients in it are like literally just the collagen um, amino acid profiles and like what type it is. And I've seen a lot of changes in my hair, my skin, and my nails just from using this. I've been using this for years. This specific brand probably for the past year. I got this on Amazon. The whole bag's only like $20. Really not bad. I just get it auto shipped and it's so easy. There's 41 servings. It's unflavored so you can't really taste it. And it does all this pretty easily I would say in hot liquids. And then I'm going to put in my homemade pumpkin spice creamer. And I'm actually going to make some more too. So I figured I would just, because it's almost gone, I'll probably end up using all this. Um, so I figured I would show you guys how I make it. Let's do a little taste test of the 
I'm trying to think of, I have a little tripod for this, but it's just so much easier just grabbing something to put it on and using it that way. It's a little sketchier, so. Um, let's do a taste test. So, cute little mug. It's so cute, it's so full. Mmm, it's so good. It definitely doesn't taste like there's like a bunch of crap in it. And what I mean by that is like all those gums and sugars and things like that. Um, but it tastes like fall. It's good. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how I make it. It's really, really simple. You only need a couple ingredients. And this can really be monitored to anybody. Like if you're dairy free or anything like that, you can totally make this a dairy free creamer. I just kind of use what I have on hand. Or even if you want it to be like more low calorie or something like that, you can always make it more low calorie. I'm just kind of making it for like taste. Like I just want it to taste good. So I don't really care, um, you know, what the calories are in it or anything like that. So only a couple ingredients. First ingredient is gonna be your milk of choice. So I'm gonna do this Fair Life low fat milk, but you can do like almond milk, oat milk, um, whatever. I mean, literally whatever that you want. I just prefer this and it has some protein in it, so I like this. Um, next ingredient is going to be obviously your pumpkin. Um, this is just like a leftover can of pumpkin. I made some pumpkin muffins the other day. So just, you want to make sure it's just 100% pumpkin. This is Giant's brand. Um, you don't want pumpkin pie filling. You want 100% pumpkin. So 100% pumpkin. Then we're going to do our maple syrup as our sweetener. Again, if you wanted to make this more low calorie or anything like that, you could totally put in like stevia or like a Truvia brown sugar, anything like that. I just like the taste that maple syrup gives this. So I put a little bit of ma pure maple syrup in it. You could even do sugar-free maple syrup, whatever you prefer. And then the most important part, I think honestly, is this pumpkin pie spice pure spice blend extract. It's basically like a vanilla extract, but it's pumpkin pie spice flavored. So it literally tastes and smells like pumpkin pie. Um, so this is kind of like what gives it a lot of that depth of that profile. And then it brings the flavors out. So salt as our seasonings. And then you could totally buy just like pumpkin pie spice, but I just have like a little bit of everything because I love pumpkin pie. So um, I have nutmeg, I have cloves, I have ginger, and then I have cinnamon. And then you can add allspice to this. I don't have that. Um, so I think this does it. I mean, I'm sure allspice would probably take it to the next level, but I just don't have that right now. So I'm just going to use with what I have and put it in a mason jar because it's going to keep it obviously good and I would say this probably lasts for up to like a week week and a half in your fridge I wouldn't have it in there longer than this because it doesn't have all those preservatives in it so a mason jar and then this little ball thing in there is like one of those balls that you get in like a shaker cup so if you guys have any like protein shaker cups you can put that in there you don't need that I just think it helps if anything settles it kind of helps mix it up but the mason jar will keep it nice and good so I'm gonna start with like the milk base and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this I mean quite honestly so <clears throat> starting with the milk base probably gonna be about a cup so I'm gonna put in probably like that looks good to me next will be your pumpkin Probably gonna do two big tablespoons. So two big tablespoons, just like that. Next we're gonna do, let's say maybe mm, two tablespoons of maple syrup. That's perfect. And pumpkin pie extract. This is probably gonna be, I'm just gonna do like two little capfuls. This is a clear one, I don't know. You could even do some of this and some vanilla. Might give it even some more depth and flavor. Or if you have like a sugar-free vanilla syrup, that would be good. Um, which I do. I just think it's good as it is. I like things more simple. And last is just the seasoning, guys. It literally takes like two minutes. Um, so let's just say a teaspoon of everything. So a teaspoon of salt. This will just kind of bring the depth of flavor out. I put a bunch of cinnamon in because I love cinnamon. Um, but the other spices I would say are probably more like a teaspoon. And now I'm getting literally cinnamon actually everywhere. I feel like I'm like so close to the camera. I need to like back up so you guys can see my face. Um, ginger, just again, probably like a teaspoon. That goes in. Nutmeg, about a teaspoon. And then cloves. I just do a little because it can kind of taste a little Christmassy if you put a lot of cloves in. So just, that's good. All right, and all you got to do is throw your lid on. Get 
Give it a good mixy mix. And there is your pumpkin spice creamer. Healthy, when you know the ingredients that are in it, and it tastes amazing. Let's do a little, a little taste test. Mmm. I think this batch might be better than the last batch. Um, again, you can always sub out any of these ingredients, but I hope you guys enjoy. And let me know if you end up making it and you try it and you like it. Alright guys, so I fixed my hair. It was kind of messy, so I put it up in a little clippy clip. I'm hungry, so I'm going to make some breakfast. I'm thinking that, I don't know if you guys have seen the TikTok with the feta egg wrap yet. But it's so good, and I think I'm going to make that for breakfast. Don't mind my fridge. It's a little messy. We did like a little game day thing, Go Birds, yesterday. Um, I wanted to record that for you guys, but my camera was so dead because I hadn't used it in so long. So it just is what it is. We'll do it next time. But um, I want to make like a little egg wrap with feta and some avocado and some... So I'm gonna spray my pan and toast up my tortilla first and then we'll like do the feta with the egg and then the avocado will be on the toasted tortilla if that makes sense. I'll show you guys as I'm making it but when it's all done it's literally so good. So once your tortilla is all toasted, it looks like this on both sides. I take it off. I'm going to pop it on my plate. I'm going to respray the pan so it can like sit for a sec. And then I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. And then with this, I'm going to fold this in half the best that you can. Obviously, mine kind of just broke, but the best that you can. And then I'm going to take half of an avocado. You could always do more. This is a mini avocado too, by the way. Um, it's a small one, but you could obviously put as much or as little as you'd like. Or you don't have to do this either. I just love avocado and eggs together. I'm going to take whatever's left in here. So, I mean, you could put, again, as much or as little as you'd like. And I'm going to dump it all in like that. And see how my pan's too hot because it's like literally flying everywhere. So you want to turn that down way. I'm going to trick it off the heat real quick. And then I'm going to take that same knife and I'm going to make like a little well in the middle for the egg. Okay, all I'm going to do is just take my egg and I'm going to crack it right in the middle and then I'm going to season it up. So the idea is, is we want to get the egg in the middle as soon as possible so that it can start cooking because we're not going to flip this. So I'm going to crack my egg right in the middle, and it probably will go out of the feta, that's okay. doesn't really matter, truly. Let me get all of it. I'm going to season, and honestly, you could season with whatever you like. I really like this Green Goddess, Let's see if it will focus, Green Goddess Trader Joe seasoning. It basically just has onion, salt, garlic, pepper, chives, green onions, spinach powder, lemon powder, lemon juice, dried parsley. And like some oil in it. I don't know. It tastes really good with this. So I'm going to put a bunch of that on because I love seasoning. And then I'm just going to do your good old salt and pep. So some pepper. And then we want to try to get this on as soon as possible because we're going to put a lid on this so that the egg cooks on top. So and then just a little bit of salt on top. I pop that lid on there like this. And I'm gonna turn this heat on really, really low. I'm gonna kind of move it around a little bit and I'm just gonna let it literally sit like this. The feta is gonna get super, super crispy and then the egg's gonna cook on top. Um, so I would say it probably takes like a good five to 10 minutes. It depends on how runny you want your egg. I like my egg a little runny, so I'll probably have a good five to seven minutes just like this until at least like the egg white portion on the top is like cooked and then I'll just take it off and I'll put it on my tortilla and it will be so good. So All right guys, so checking on this now. This is actually looking pretty good. So we kind of want the bottom to look super crispy and then the top to just be like cooked. So I like mine kind of runny, so that looks pretty good to me. Um so what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to kind of go around because it does stick pretty well. So, so you got to spray really well. I'm going to go around and kind of just like 
start to loosen up the edges. You guys can tell it does kind of stick like quite a lot and that's just because of the feta so don't be alarmed if you're sticking a lot at the end but anyway so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna transfer it right in the middle of this little avocado wrap turn that off and then i like to add on balsamic glaze that's not something that you guys have to do um but i would recommend it if you like like sweet and salty it's really really good with eggs so i'm gonna pop some balsamic glaze on top this is the one that i have so i'm just gonna take some of this and i love a lot of this so i'm gonna pop a decent amount on like that i'm almost out of this i need to get some more and then literally all you do guys is you just and you fold it oh see that usually doesn't happen to eat this it looks so good and then i have my little coffee i have some ice water of course and some berries mm. i love me some fresh berries for breakfast all right let's try this i've had this a million times but i'm just doing it for camera's sake it is so good Mm-hmm. It's so crispy and just like creamy filling but still light at the same time. Yeah. If you like feta, you will love this. If you don't like feta cheese, I would say still try it because it's not like the same texture because it melts and it gets crispy. Mm. Yeah, look at that. It's so good. It's so yummy. I feel like a lot of to-go breakfasts are just like always a breakfast sandwich or like always oatmeal or I mean a smoothie's good too, but like sometimes it's cold and you don't want that. Like now it's starting to transition to the fall season, so I don't want a cold smoothie for breakfast you know i want a nice warm breakfast that's gonna fill me up it's easy to make it takes five to ten minutes and it's nutrient dense like this is a very good nutrient dense meal so my plan for the day is as you saw i kind of like was doing some stuff already i had to do some dishes i definitely want to clean off my couch i need to do some laundry um i have some returns to make too at cvs i ended up buying this or a bay. Let me know if any of you guys have tried this. Or by or a bay Maximista thickening spray for brunettes. And I tried it the other day, and I had like fresh clean hair. This is for damp hair, and I I dampen my my fresh clean hair. So I wanted to try it. It says spray on damp hair from roots to ends, blow dry to the highest volume, finish with a final mist to hold style. So I tried it, and I've heard so many good things from this brand. I have their dry shampoo. I love it. And this was like $40, by the way. So it was kind of expensive. And I was really excited for this. And it made my hair literally feel like straw. It just was not nice. So and I only used a little bit of it. So I'm going to try to take it back to CVS and see if they'll let me return it. Because I'm not going to use it. So I just like don't want it to go to waste. Um, and then, you know, if they can't take it back, then I'll probably give it to... I'm trying to think of like someone I could even give it to. Like I don't even know who would want that. I was going to go to the gym. But honestly, like, I just got my period, so I'm not really feeling the best. I kind of have some cramps today, so I think I'm just going to kind of lay low at the house. I'm going to do some cleaning. I need to put some dishes away, do the laundry. I'm going to clean up my couch. I kind of want to sweep everything and mop everything and just kind of get everything nice and clean. And then we'll kind of see, like, what that what time that takes me to. And then I might head into work after that. I just have to be at work by 4. It's, like, 11.40-ish now. So that gives me a couple hours to do some stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Anyway, so... I figured I would talk about my engagement because I didn't get to talk about that. So excited, obviously. Um, this happened on Labor Day weekend. So it's been a couple months for those that are new here. We just hit our five-year anniversary in April. And we ended up planning a getaway trip just to him and I, which we've never done in our five years. We always, like, go with people or whatever. So we did a getaway trip. He was like, do you want to go to Niagara Falls? Because we both had never been. 
Um, we both have our passports, so we brought our passports to Niagara Falls, but we stayed on the New York side of Niagara Falls, and it was just so beautiful. I love getting out in nature. I had like a long weekend, so we went Friday to Sunday over Labor Day weekend, and then we had Monday off too, which was really, really nice. But anyway, so we basically just went up, did all, did all the things, of course, you know, got all the foods. Um, we just had a blast, and he obviously proposed when we were there. I kind of, most people ask me, did you think it was coming? I did kind of assume that it was coming. We'd been together for so long. Um, so we're super, super excited. So the past couple months have been just kind of crazy because of me being promoted to head trainer over the past year. I feel like it's been probably since like a year since I had um, posted anything because it's basically like everything I was doing prior, so still coaching, but I'm doing a little bit more of the management side. So my job has um, taken up a lot of my time as a, a total excuse as why I haven't vlogged. And then I had some friends that have gotten married in the past couple of months and I was in, me and my fiance were in one of the weddings. So that's been pretty busy too. And then we actually just had another wedding that we were guests at past weekend, which was so, so fun. And I don't know, I just had like a spurt of inspiration and I was kind of like, you know what? Like I haven't vlogged in a while. Like I kind of just feel like picking up my camera and vlogging. So I don't know. Um, hopefully I can kind of turn over a new leaf this fall and winter and I can kind of get posts out regularly. And again, if there's anything that you guys want to see, let me know. Kind of going off on a tangent, circling back to the engagement. Yeah, but basically we were kind of just like walking across the bridge. They call it the Rainbow Bridge from uh, New York to Canada. And he just got down on me. And I, of course, said yes because I love him and I want to be with him forever too. So I said yes. This is the ring. It's so beautiful. And I'm so, so excited for this next chapter. We've been checking out a lot of venues and stuff like that. We haven't really found anything that we're obsessed with. A lot of people ask us like where we want to be. I'm really down to be anywhere. I don't really care where the venue is at. I just, and even really what it looks like. I have somewhat of an idea of what I want it to look like, but I just have certain things that I want and the time of the year, basically. So we're hoping for September or October of 2024. So around this time next year. And that's why I'm like, I need to get my butt into gear and I need to find any venue. So if you guys know any good venues around here, let me know. But we've checked out about seven already. We haven't found one that we're in love with. And I have a little calendar over here. I'm checking out basically four in like the next week and a half. So maybe I can bring you guys along to some of those venue tours. And that can help some of you guys out if you're around the area. And I'm hoping that I can make a decision in the next couple weeks and set a date because... I need to start planning. I need to get my bridesmaids. I need to get my maid of honor ready to go. Um, we need to start thinking about our colors, like all of those fun things. So um, a lot of exciting things in the next couple of months. So hopefully I can be on top of my vlogging game and just kind of vlog the whole experience for you guys. I feel like that would be so fun. That's really the only life update I have. I feel like... That's really all I have going on right now. So it's just work, trying to plan a wedding, obviously trying to balance health, fitness, a social life. A lot of our friends are getting married right now, like I said. So we're kind of in that age and era where it's a lot going on. There's a lot of traveling. There's a lot of fun things. I'm going to eat the rest of my breakfast. We'll catch up with you guys then. Hello? Hello? Ma'am? Hi. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back quite a little bit later. I ended up just doing a bunch of extra cleaning. It's about 1.30 now, so it's been a couple hours. I know I said I was going to do a little workout, but I just honestly do not feel good at all. Like my stomach is cramping so bad. So I think I'm just going to chillax for a little bit, quite honestly. This is typically not a, what, what a Monday looks like for me. I mean, I usually do a lot of cleaning and stuff, but I don't always just like not do anything. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to like chillax for a little bit. I'll be just coaching two classes tonight. I have a 4.30 and then I have a... 545 class um, and they're both 60 minute classes so I should be done work around like 7 latest 
um, or be home like a little past seven. And I actually forgot, I know I was talking earlier what I was gonna make for dinner. Today's Jake's night for dinner. So he'll be making dinner. He does every Monday night since I work late. He always makes dinner those nights or he can take me out or he can order food. It's just up to him to figure out how we're both gonna eat dinner kind of. So he gets to choose what he wants to do. I think he said he was not feeling the best today when I talked to him earlier. So I think he said he might just do some like order in food for us. Um, but yeah, we'll see tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, grab my laundry and then come back up, put the Phillies on, watch the Phillies game and just my laundry. Hi. I love you. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear these like flared leggings that I have and then I just have like a sweatshirt that I'm gonna wear. Bye-bye to work. Do you want a little treat treat? We're all like almost out of treats too here. We need to get them some more. Does anyone else dogs go through treats like it's freaking insane? Wee wee. Okay, come on. Come sit in your bed. In your bed bed. Good. Can you lay down? Lay down. Lay. Good girl, Callie, good girl. Alright y'all, I still need to find like a good spot for my car not fall my lens. Um, I was able to successfully return my product. Felt kind of bad because I did kind of use it, but it just sucked so bad. So I was like, I cannot, like I don't need this. So she didn't even ask me any questions. She was like, okay, yeah, I'll take it. It's like, great. Um, so yeah, CBS return done, and I'm gonna head straight into work. I've officially made it. To Orange Theory. <laughs> so here I am. All right, guys. I will catch you after work. Bug Schmidt. Get on the vlog, Bug Schmidt. Not to make it. Girls, you hi. Come on. Phillies, double hatter, baby. They lost earlier. Yeah, I think so. Back from work. We ordered some DoorDash. We're about to eat up. What'd we get? We'll Cheese steak and fries? Hold on. Cheese steak and french fries. We're so good. We're so hyped. Intro though and 
and they signed up so that was good so new member that's exciting other than that i'll show you the doordash when we get back we're just going to chill we're going to watch the phillies we're gonna eat our doordash and that's going to be that so i'll probably honestly end i'll probably honestly end the vlog soon because we're not really going to be doing much else i will not focus hold on one sec there we go. Um, we're probably not gonna be doing much else besides eating some food, chilling. I might pop in the shower real quick, just kind of rinse my body off because I feel kind of gross. And yeah, so I will show you the food when it comes. What did we get? I don't know. Bugs night for dinner. <gasps> Not it looks good. We got from Juicy Cheesesteaks. Ooh. It's Bugs Night for dinner. So, remember I said he can DoorDash. So he can order in, take me out, or make food. Yeah. And he decided to DoorDash. They look really good. Ooh. Oh, you got two? Chicken and I thought one, we were going to shave. One sure. chicken, one beef. Okay, one chicken, one beef. <gasps> Onion rings, my favorite. French fries. Let's go. All right, new place. We're gonna try it. We just ate. Jake's a little upset because it wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. Yeah, we wanna follow the barn door vibe. But I thought it was pretty good. We got cheese steaks, onion rings, fries. We crushed that. Now we're gonna chill and we're gonna watch the football game. This that's gonna play. No, I don't like that one. Yeah, I like that. No, no. Let's I find better the ones. We're gonna watch the football game and the Phillies and hang with the dogs. So I'm ending this vlog here. Sure, sure. Jake has a bed in. He's hype. And lose track of time. <laughs> Let's make a great escape. Alright, I'm ending this vlog here. Later, y'all.